what's up youtube family it's your girl safia and today i'm back with another video today i'm going to be doing a herb roasted chicken with beer and i'm going to be pairing that with some baked potatoes and some corn all right so first thing i want to do i've already got my hands washed and clean and i'm going to be adding some maggi chicken seasoning to this I already mixed in some all purpose in this so I'm gonna go ahead and season the chicken now I'm gonna be using the dry rub first on the chicken to make sure that all of that flavor is absorbed into the chicken before adding on the wet ingredients just gonna go ahead pour that all on and just rub that in so of course you all know that it's coming on to the Christmas time of course so you want it to feel like Christmas so what better way to do it today than to actually prepare dinner with some lovely syrup so I'll go ahead and make sure I rub in all of the seasoning in the chicken and I'm going to be adding a little bit of salt maybe like about a teaspoon or half a teaspoon well rubbed up in the maggi I'm just going to go ahead and add this is about a clove of garlic and I'm going to be adding some fresh thyme to it as well and some pimentos so as I said I like when my chicken is filled with flavor and I'm adding some whole one medium sized garlic also I'm adding some scallion and that's going to be going into the oven let me just clear here now i've already had i already have my oven preheated at 325 degrees fahrenheit of course if you're using one of those stove or those oven i should say that carries it at celsius you can have it at about 162 or say 163 there about now i have my red stripe here not a good old red stripe and i'm just gonna be pouring a little bit of it over my chicken you don't want to put too much on it that's just for the moisture And here I have my tin that I'm going to be baking it in. I'm also going to be adding some bay leaves. My bay leaf them kind of small, extra small. So I'm going to be adding about four of those all right now along with that i'm going to be adding a scotch bonnet pepper to it not a whole scotch bonnet but maybe about half of it I'm 
gonna also go ahead and pour a little bit of oil onto my chicken. And just go ahead and rub that in. Lay out my chicken. Let me give you guys a closer look of what's going on. So I'm laying out my chicken right here. So it's a Christmas season, you know. You want to feel good and get that festive feeling going on so that's why we're going to be using the sorrel sauce today all right here you have it now i might go ahead and add another onion to it or maybe I'll add some more scallion actually just so that the flavor of the herbs that I'm adding here or the seasoning that I'm adding here can be a bit more potent also I'm going to be just pouring over all of that red stripe on the chicken oh, I didn't use I didn't use all of the beer I just use a little bit because as I said before I'm gonna be adding more to it in the sauce and while the chicken is being cooked so now I'm gonna be placing this into the oven and you'll see it when it's almost finished yeah, yeah. To me, I want you to just about fall in love. What makes you happy is what makes me drown. But what you want and what makes you bad, I'm giving a chance to make things right. But just be honest for once in a while. It was a part of a silly joke. Well, it isn't fun, it comes down the more. Don't lie to me, don't lie to me. I want you to just about fall in love. What makes you happy is what makes you drown. But what you want and what makes you bad, I'm giving a chance to make things right. But just be honest for once in a while. It was a part of a silly joke. Well, it isn't fun, it comes down the more. Don't lie to me, don't lie to me I've got your chance about falling in love What makes you happy, what makes you drown But what you want, what makes you bad And give me a chance to make things right But just be honest for what you are And what you thought of us in a job Well, it's been fun to get some no more In the sauce as the flavor changes, 
you adjust it to however you want it to taste. And that's good. I'm getting it at a nice level that I want it at. I want to be able to taste the soil and be able to taste the beer as well. So I'm going to add some more beer. Just be generous and pour that all in. Now I have some Maggie all purpose. I'm just going to be sprinkling a little bit of it into, in, into the sauce. So as you can see right there, I have a nice red looking sauce ready to coat your chicken. The flavor is good. Spices there, the sweetness of the soil, and also the beer itself. So I'm just gonna get back another taste of that sauce right there. Superb. It's good. I'm just gonna go and add starting to get that Christmas energy. So I'm just going to place this back into the oven for another 20 to 30 minutes or let's just say about 10 to 15 minutes actually then I'm going to be taking them out and re-coating them again Beer soil chicken there Make sure that you are getting that view right there That's another potato Corn. Nice warm luscious corn right there. I'm gonna go ahead and place my chicken on the plate right there. And guys, it is delicious. I'm serving y'all a plate. Y'all need to come over for some of this. I'm gonna go ahead. And add me some of that beautiful sauce right there. Alright. Add a little bit more. There you have it. That's your delicious food right there. And you can add a little bit of butter to your corn. All right. So, I hope that you guys did enjoy this. Let's get my plate clean right there. Hope you guys enjoy this. Alright, there's a bit of you. Chicken. Sorrel barbecue chicken. Or sorrel baked chicken with your corn. And your baked potato. Alright. Until next time guys. Just remember like comment share and subscribe and for a little bit of finishing i'll just add a nice bit of soil in the center of the plate like that and go, i went ahead and cut up some nice skelly and curls all right until next time guys Stay tuned.